Well, hey guys, this is Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And recently we just got uh, our carousel package returned to us. And in that package was some cherry wood from Deep South Homestead. Danny and Wanda King down there at Deep South Homestead. And part of their return gifts were a little bit of cherry from their property. Well, back in 2005, they had Hurricane Katrina and took down a bunch of the trees. And Danny, being a smart guy like he is, he decided to go ahead and mill some of that up. Well, I'm glad I got a little bit of it. So today what I'm building is a, we had one of our viewers request a crochet needle. And um, so I thought, well, Cherry might just make a good crochet needle. Um, it is a hard wood and very dense. Thought I'd go ahead and cut a piece off of the end of one of the pieces that Danny had sent. And this is going to be a three quarter by three quarter inch stock here that I'm going to put up in the wood lathe here and turn a crochet needle. So the first thing I did is I just found center. As you can see, I just went from a, with a straight edge from corner to corner and made an X to find exactly where the center was on each one of these ends. And so now I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe here. So any of you guys who are new to our channel and don't know what kind of lathe this is, or some of you might care, some of you might not, this is an old Powermatic 90. Um, I got it at a school auction. So the tailstock, I have to change out this, this little fitting here because of the size the size of turning that I'm putting on here so I have to reduce the size the size of the uh, tailstock here so that collaboration was was pretty fun uh, we have stuff that are that's all over the all over the United States and we got stuff from all over the United States so I thought that was a pretty cool little collaboration the collaboration was for um, different homestead channels out there uh, what they make or produce on their homestead and they could take out three items in the uh, homestead box but they had to replace it with three homemade or homegrown or like seeds or uh, handcrafted goods and different things such as that uh, preservatives, uh, home preservatives and such. And so we had a bunch of folks that are that were involved in that. So that was a lot of fun. So I've made quite a few of these before in the past for Heidi, and she likes the shape of this one the best. So she does quite a bit of crocheting, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get something similar to this.
Okay, the rest of this has to be done on the sander and by hand. Yeah, or with hand tools or uh, filing. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. So this particular size hook is going to be a size K, so I'll write uh, K on here, or Woodburn K on here. So that's a size K, and our, our logo. So now I'm just put, going to put some of our wood treatment on here. It's a combination of beeswax, natural beeswax, and coconut oil. Now the more you use this hook, the smoother it gets. Just because from the uh, your hand oils, and I'll show you Heidi's here, it's really shiny. And she hasn't put any more treatment on it, but it just has a real good shine and it's smooth. And she says she really likes the... The feel of it so this uh, this one here should be just about the same now I'll have mrs. rain do a test run on this to make sure it's the right size and the feel uh, before we send it off well, look at there it seems to be Feels working good. yeah does it look like it's the right size I think so. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right. Well, thanks, Danny and Wanda, for the cherry wood. And this is the first little project that we've done with the wood. I'm trying to conserve it as much as we can. Well, thank you to the lady who purchased this, and thank you to Deep South Homestead. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and God bless. Mm -hmm.